So you got a Quadifier Diamondback Pro Series frame, but you don't know how to assemble it. You are in the right place. First take the bottom plate and shove a 16mm screw with countersunk washer through it, then put the arm on the screw, then the middle plate, and finally, finger tighten a standoff on the screw. It should look like this. Repeat for the remaining arms. It should look like this. Now take a 30mm screw and shove a countersunk washer on it. Then put it through one of the 20x20 20 20 or 30x30 30 30 holes, depending on the stack size you are using. It is quite the lengthy screw. It should look like this. Repeat for the remaining three screws. What are you doing, Pronto? Once all four screws are in, snug them down. It should look like this. Now take a 10mm screw and countersunk washer and put it through the holes on the middle plate. Then finger tighten a standoff onto the screw. It should look like this. Put the remaining to standoffs in the axi mount, then screw them in like the previous standoffs. It should look like this. Press fit the camera mounts on the front for standoffs. Be careful not to bend the carbon. Repeat for the other side. It should look like this. Put a 10mm screw on through the four center holes on the middle plate and into the standoff. Once all four screws are in, snug them down. Now install the remaining screws and countersunk washers on the top plate. Repeat for the 
Now snug down all the screws on the frame. It should look like this. If you choose to run the arm guards, simply press them onto the arm ends. If you use the guards, it is highly recommended to use 12mm motor screws with countersunk washers. This will prevent the TPU from squishing, while still allowing the motors to be tight. Now it's time for the XT60. Remove the top plate. To install the XT60, simply screw it in with the M2.5 screws. The best way to install this is to solder the 14 of G wire from the ESC to the X60. Make sure the wire is the exact length so it is installed without any tension. Then screw the top plate on, then screw the XT60 into the top plate. You can put it in the front or the back. The back is pretty straightforward, however the front is a little more complex. Installing in the front allows easier GoPro mounting. To install in the front, you will need to rotate the ESC 180 degrees. Then you will need to remap the ESC so it is properly aligned. You will need to depan the ESC connector and repin motor 1 to motor 4 and motor 4 to motor 1 and repin motor 2 to motor 3 and motor 3 to motor 2. This will make the quad function properly. You must remap the motors for mounting the XT60 in the front. And there you have it, a fully assembled quadifier diamond back core series frame. I'ma pat myself on the back cause this the best looking frame ever.